Hello and welcome to Life Admin 365 and welcome to another video. Today I'm sharing with you my favorite nuts and seeds bar recipe. This is a keto low carb friendly recipe. However, you can easily swap traditional sweeteners for keto sweeteners. So let's see how I made it. One of the best ways to use up milk solids remaining after making ghee is to use them in making a granola bar or nuts and seeds bar or laddu. That way these along with ghee sticking to them gets used instead of it going to waste. Coconut is the base of these bars. Here I'm using one and a half cups of thawed or fresh coconut, which I dry roasted on low heat for about eight to 10 minutes. You can use one cup of desiccated coconut if that's what you have on hand. In that case, you don't need to roast it. Add this thawed or toasted coconut to milk solids remaining from ghee making and give it a thorough mix. Then add half a cup of whey protein powder and one third cup of erythritol monk fruit sweetener. Combine all the ingredients well to form a homogeneous blend. In case you don't have milk solids or don't prefer to use them, simply use one tablespoon of ghee and follow the same process. Also, for non-keto version, use jaggery or regular sugar instead. Mind you, I have not used heat during this mixing step. Simply combine the ingredients in the pan in which ghee was prepared. Once the base is ready, it's time to add nuts. I prefer roasted nuts and seeds over raw. But if you prefer them raw, you can skip this step and go to the next one. On low medium heat, roast 2 tablespoons of each nut or seed of your choice. I use sunflower seeds and walnut pieces and roasted these two first. To these added cashew pieces and roasted all for a minute or so. Every now and then toss and twirl the seeds and nuts in the pan to prevent them from burning. Then add pumpkin seeds and almonds. I had purchased these two in their roasted form so I didn't need to roast these two anymore. But if you have these in their raw forms, that is the pumpkin seeds and the almonds as raw, then do roast them for a couple of minutes. Turn off heat and continue to stir the nuts in the pan for a minute or two and then move them away from the hot burner to a cooler one or on a trivet. Only when the nuts have cooled completely, begin to process them in the food processor. I'm using my Cuisine Art food processor for processing these nuts. Pulse these nuts instead of grinding them. We want these nuts in their meal form and not as nut butter. After a few pulses, add in sweetened coconut whey protein mixture and pulse everything a few more times until you get a uniform coarse meal. Then add in 2 teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, 1 fourth teaspoon of cardamom seeds and approximately 2 tablespoons of keto maple syrup or regular maple syrup for non-keto version. Pulse once more until you get a crumbly but moist mixture. When mixture is ready, start preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then transfer the crumbly mixture into a foil lined baking tray. Spread the mix Mixture with a flat spatula and gently press to pack it into approximately half inch thick rectangle. Smoothen out the surface and sides as much as possible. Before baking, gently score the surface to make markings for cutting out the bars. I like to make my first half mark, then half the remaining half and so on and so forth. This way I get as equal sized bars as possible. Once you have scored the surface to your liking, cut them all the way through and separate slightly and straighten the edges if needed. This recipe will yield about 16 bars that are approximately one and a half by three inches and about one fourth inches in thickness. Bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Once baked, take them out and cool completely before cutting. At this point, they are still on the softer and crumbly side. Cooling them completely will firm them up considerably. Using a knife, cut out the bars. These bars are slightly on the chewy side. If you like your bars to be on the crunchier and more crispy side, then you need to bake them once more. Second baking will be done only after the bars have been cooled completely from the first baking. But now the baking temperature is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and for about 11 to 12 minutes. Back to these bars. Look at how beautifully these bars have turned out. And because I have OCD, I like to trim the edges to get a smooth finish. Look at all these crumbs. They are delicious on their own. 
Gather up the crumbs and store them in airtight container. I like to use these as toppings for my yogurt parfaits. Delicious! If you are not using the crumbs or the bars right away, you can store them in freezer for up to 2 months. Otherwise, store them in an airtight container at room temperature. When stored correctly, these will last for about 6 to 8 days in a cool and dry place at room temperature. I will test it beyond that because they typically get done within a week. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and will give these bars a try. And if you liked it, do give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much. See you all in the next one.